Hello, hello. We're back. Written by Jay Kogan and Wallace Walidowski. Directed by Brad Bird. Original air date, April 29th, 1990. And guest starring Kelsey Grammer. It's time for the Krusty the Clown show, so let's try to shoot Sideshow Bob out of a cannon. Quick itchy and scratchy cartoon, and now Homer needs to pick up some ice cream at the Quickie Mart. Uh-oh. Someone who looks just like Krusty robs the Quickie Mart. Homer helps the cops, and the cops arrest Krusty. Homer finally makes it home and turns on the news, the big story being Krusty, of course. This is rough on Bart to hear. Krusty is like his hero. Kent Brockman covers the story the next day. Reverend Lovejoy plans to burn Krusty merch, and bam, we are at the Krusty trial. Krusty even tells Bart, I didn't do it, and the crowd laughs. Soon, Homer tells the court it was Krusty he saw that night. Marge and Homer gather up all the Krusty toys in the house. We see the toy burn, which I quite enjoy to see. Then we learn Krusty can't read back in court. Soon Krusty is found guilty, so it's time for the Sideshow Bob show. Lisa slaps Bart, and then we are on the case to find Krusty innocent. Pacemaker, Krusty can't read, and Sideshow Bob has some big ass feet. Holy moly, Bart and Lisa have solved the case. Krusty is free, and horrible Sideshow Bob is locked up. This is a great episode for season one, highly enjoyable. Getting to see the origin of why Sideshow Bob is after Bart is pretty great. I think this is probably my favorite episode of the whole season. Until next time, folks. Bye.